At Itawamba Community College, your education is our priority. With a 20 to 1 student-teacher ratio, you will get the help that you need from your instructors. With three locations in Fulton, Tupelo, and Belden, ICC offers classes that will prepare you to enter almost any job field of your choice. Apply online today at apply.iccms.edu and come be a part of our ICC family. Itawamba Community College, the best start here. Student involvement is a top priority here at Itawamba Community College. If you want to be involved with student government, then the Student Government Association is the place for you. If you have a stellar GPA, then Phi Theta Kappa is for you. If you're interested in the diverse culture of our campus population, then the Diversity Club is for you. If you're interested in leadership and service, then Indian Delegation is for you. If you're majoring in computer programming or computer networking, then CPNA, the Computer Programming Networking Association, is for you. If you're interested in good conversations and free lunch on Thursdays, then the Wesley Foundation is for you. Our health science programs also have specific organizations for those majors. Student Activities is excited to bring you new opportunities here at the ICC Tupelo campus. Whatever your passion may be, we have a place for you. This video is brought to you by Phi Theta Kappa Beta Tau Sigma Tupelo campus. This broadcast of ICC Athletics is being brought to you by Renaissance Bank, Little Caesars, Davis Ford, the Sonic of Fulton, Tupelo Coca-Cola Bottling Works, the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, First American National Bank, the ICC BSU, your Itawama County Farm Bureau agent, Joey Cox, Kegel Eye Center, the ICC Foundation, the Bank of Oklahoma, and the ICC Alumni Association. Good afternoon and roll tribe as we welcome you to this Tuesday afternoon edition of Live with the Tribe here on ESPN 95.1 The Fan. Now we do want to remind you if you're ever away from your radio, you can always join us uh, every Monday through Friday at noon on ESPNMISS.com. That's ESPNMISS.com. Or if you've missed any of the other shows, uh, they'll be available uh, on our Let's Go ICC YouTube, YouTube page. Every uh, every day between, I uh, say roughly between 2 and 3 o'clock. Uh, now don't forget to subscribe to the page while you're there so you can get updates and notifications on our latest videos uh, that we release on YouTube. All you got to do is simply search Let's Go ICC on YouTube. And I keep saying YouTube a lot here. But we have all of this year's shows and also uh, last year's shows available. All uh, you got to do is just search the Live with the Tribe playlist there as well. Now, yesterday we had a jam-packed show. Uh, we were able to catch up with former ICC baseball players Tyreek Reed, who is now with the Texas Rangers organization, Delvin Zinn, who is with the Chicago Cubs organization, and current Ole Miss Rebel Hunter Neighbors. Later on in today's show, we're going to flash back to the 2014 ICC leadoff banquet when Fulton native Brian, uh, Brian Dozier was a special guest speaker. Now, BD never attended ICC, but he's always been a great friend to the college and the community of Itawamba County, so we don't, so you know you don't want to miss that speech uh, a little bit later on this afternoon. But before we get to that, let's take a look back at yesterday's action for ICC softball and the basketball teams. And of course, when we do that, it's being brought to you by our friends at the Sonic in Fulton. Sonic's 299 Car Hop Classic, a juicy quarter pound double cheeseburger or a flavorful signature slinger with golden brown crispy tots. A deal so nice, you should order it twice, cause it's only 299. Hurry in for Sonic's Car Hop Classic. 299 for a Car Hop Classic, what a steal. Steal, that's a heist. Put this on. Oh, disguise. I don't think I can eat in there. It's all part of the plan, my friend. Get a quarter pound double cheeseburger or a slinger plus tots for 299. Try it today. The number 10 Indians wasted little time jumping on Belleville State in the first game of their softball doubleheader in Alabama. ICC scored 11 runs in the top of the first inning and added five more in the second to rush out to an impressive 16-0 lead. Jessica Davis hit a three-run home run for her first-ever collegiate bomb to put the Lady Indians up 19-0 in the third. Hannah Sparks and Emma Grace Shell added RBI singles in the fourth and fifth innings to round out the Indians' offensive onslaught in Game 1. Bevel brought in its ace pitcher for Game 2 in hopes to silence the Indians' bats, and it worked. 
Trailing one to nothing, the Indians attempt to, attempted to steal home to tie the game in the top of the third inning, but a bang-bang play at the plate cut down the runner and ended the inning with the Bears clinging to their one-run one, one lead. Bevel tacked on three runs in the bottom half of the third inning to take a 4-0 lead, and the Indians got something brewing in the fourth, but a timely double play helped the Bears get out of the inning with no damage done. Macy Cox and Rachel Sternisha picked up back-to-back -back RBI doubles in the fifth inning, but Bevel answered with a two-run home run in the bottom half of the inning to take a 6-2 advantage. Mary-Kate Butler entered the pitch in the sixth and got a three-up, three-down inning, and then the Lady Indians went to work. Sternisha doubled to score Maddie Miney to make it a 6-3 contest with no outs in the seventh, but the rally came up short as the Indians fell to 4-2 and two on the season after dropping the three-run decision in Game 2. Now, the Indians are scheduled to be back in action Wednesday afternoon as they host Snead State, but with the weather forecast the way it's looking, you may want to keep an eye on Let's Go I on the Let's Go ICC Twitter feed and Let's Go ICC.com for potential changes. Right now, the first American National Bank opening pitch is scheduled for uh, 2 o'clock for Game 1, and Game 2 will follow about 30 minutes after the conclusion of that one. Both games are scheduled to be available on Let's Go ICC TV.com, the Red Channel. Last night, the Lady Indians improved to 17-2 overall and 9-0 in the North with a 78-66 win over Mississippi Delta. Down by double digits, the Lady Trojans stormed back to make it an 8-point contest with just over a minute to play, but a 4-point swing in a span of 3 seconds pushed the lead back up to double digits after Zaria Jenkins scored on a layup and Shania Buford stole the ensuing inbounds pass for another layup. Coach Nancy Gray missed the trip due to sickness, but the Lady Indians did not miss a beat under the direction of assistant coach Robin Porter at the helm. In the nightcap, the Trojans saw the Indians rally to make it a three-point contest with less than a minute to play. Delta took care of business from the free throw line to escape with the 64-59 victory. Madarius Hobson led the Indians with 19 points, Travante Doolittle added 12, and Rance Champ added 11 in the loss. ICC will return to the Davis Event Center Thursday night against Cahoma. The first American National Bank opening tilt for the Lady Indians is set for 5.30, but you can join us right here on The Fan and the Red Channel of LetsGoICCTV.com at 5.20 for the Davis Ford pregame show. When we come back, we'll take a look at the North Division standings in basketball, and with the regular season coming to a close, we'll try to break down potential playoff scenarios for both the Lady Indians and the Indians. We'll also talk with Coach Andy Kirk about the softball split at Bevel State and Coach Robin Porter about the Lady Indians win at Delta. You're listening to Live with the Tribe on ESPN 95.1 The Fan. Back with more right after this. With the Little Caesars mobile app, you can customize an extra most bestest pizza with the most cheese, and now with the most of any toppings for the nation's best price. It's the crowning pizza achievement. And it's true what they say. It's lonely at the top, unless you have an extra most bestest pizza. Then it's a party at the top! Little Caesars extra most bestest pizzas, the world's easiest way to outrageous amounts of toppings, starting at six bucks. Pizza, pizza. Ever since you got that license, you've been on the move. We get it. With student checking, we have the tools to keep you going. Take care of that check from grandma without stopping at the bank. Pay with your phone when you're out with friends. And we'll even pay you back for ATM fees. So keep on going, and we'll stick with you, wherever you go. Renaissance Bank, understanding you. Member FDIC. Davis Ford in Fulton is your Ford dealer for new cars, trucks, and SUVs and has a wide inventory of certified pre-owned vehicles. Find your next dream car or truck from our Ford showroom or go online to davisfordsales.com and search our new and used inventory to see what is on our lot. So stop by and test drive the all new fuel efficient Ford Focus or Ford Fusion or the new Ford Explorer or F-150. Go further with Davis Ford, 904 West Main Street in Fulton or online davisfordsales.com. 
The newly formed Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi wants to make sure you are receiving the best orthopedic care possible. Our staff of seven experienced board-certified surgeons specialize in a specific area of the body and can treat you with the newest and latest technology available to fast-track your road to recovery. Call us for same-day appointments at 662-377-BONE and come see us at Gloucester Creek Village in Tupelo at the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. Our specialty is you. Yes, I'm Amber McFarland. I came here in 2012. I actually started summer courses in um, June, but I came here to the Fulton campus in August, and um, I graduated in May 2014. I chose ICC because it's pretty much a family tradition. I didn't have to pay for a thing at ICC. ICC was totally free for me. And I did weigh out the options. Even though it was a family tradition, I wanted to see how much money I could get had I did decide to go to Ole Miss first. And I would not be in so much debt had I gone to Ole Miss first than I did if I went to ICC first. And it, it was amazing the difference that I would have to pay. Taylor Medal is actually the highest honor you can receive at Ole Miss. I think we're the top 6% um, in our class. So it was because I had all A's in that actually built on from ICC. My GPA from ICC since it transferred had all A's here and I had all A's at Ole Miss. So it just helped me out a lot. I got recommended for it first and I had to fill out this application and write an essay and I was chosen. Um, we were recognized on stage on graduation day. We got to um, walk out the banner. So it was, a, it was a huge honor and we got a medal to keep for forever. I was also just um, awarded Teacher of the Year at my school. So that was exciting, I'm just a second year teacher. I wanted to change lives. I wanted to help a child, but I knew I didn't want to be a doctor or a pediatrician. I did not want to do that. I want to actually be there, guiding them. So that's what made me be a teacher. My grandmother was a teacher, my mom was a teacher, my aunt's a teacher. I tried to stay away from it, I really did. But my heart just kept on saying, you know, go be a teacher. And it was here at ICC that I decided that. Welcome back to Live with the Tribe here on ESPN 95.1 The Fan. You know, thanks for taking time out of your afternoon to join us. Don't forget, you can keep up uh, with everything ICC Athletics by following Let's Go ICC, all one word, on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook, and also by visiting the award-winning letsgoicc.com. Now let's take a look at the North Division standings for the women's and men's basketball after last night's division games throughout the league. We already talked about the Indians' win over Delta, which moved them to 9-0 and in the division play and keeps them in first place in the North. Now, looking at the math, uh, it looks like the Lady Indians are one win away from securing another North Division title. There's kind of a log jam for second and third place. Right now, it's East Mississippi at 7-3 and in division play. You've got Northeast at 6-3. and I believe those two teams do play a little bit later on in the season as well. And then for the fourth spot, it's a tie right now between Holmes and Mississippi Delta, both at four and five. Northwest is at two and eight, and Cahoma at one and nine. So it looks like Northwest and Cahoma are both, well, I mean, Northwest mathematically not out of it, but they'll have to get some help uh, down the stretch. Cahoma is for sure uh, out of the playoffs there. So for right now, it looks like ICC one went away from clinching the North Division Championship again under Coach Nancy Gray. East Mississippi, Northeast, uh, still battling it out with three games left to play. And then Holmes and Delta both trying to find that final spot in the playoffs as well in the North Division. Uh, the South Division is still being controlled by Jones College. Uh, the Lady Bobcats, who also looks like uh, they are one win away from securing their division championship. And when they do that, uh, they'll have the right to host the MACJC Tournament in about two weeks. So, uh, so yeah, that's going to break things down there in the women's division. Speaking of the women's division, division standings, I had a chance to catch up with Coach Robin Porter after the Lady Indians win at Mississippi Delta last night. All right, Robin, uh, having to fill in for Nancy tonight. Uh, she's out sick. Uh, the girls battled hard and come away with a big win. Oh, it was a great win on the road. The, girl, the girls battled hard, played hard. Uh, they got some defensive styles when they needed, and then they made easy buckets inside. It was a team effort tonight. Well, credit to uh, Mississippi Delta. They didn't go quietly into the night. You guys built a big lead. They battled back, but the girls dug deep and found a way. Oh, they played. Give credit to uh, Bernadette. She works hard with the team. They played hard. They had subs coming in and out. 
And we just had to keep our momentum, keep our composure, and just take what they give us. Switching gears to the men's side of the standings, well, things are crazy when it comes to the North Division, as right now it's East Mississippi leading the division at 7-2. and two. Northeast is right behind, or excuse me, East Mississippi's 8-2. and two. Northeast is 7-2. and two. And then we got a little bit of a logjam. Uh, you've got Holmes at 6-3, and three, Northwest at 4-6, and six, ICC and Delta both at 3-6. and six. Uh, Of course, Delta winning tonight, or last night, excuse me, over the Indians gives them the head-to-head tiebreaker. But if it somehow ends up in a three-way tie, uh, the Indians might need Northeast to find a way to win the division because ICC split with Northeast. Of course, ICC travels to East Mississippi next week, so a win at East Mississippi would go a long way as well when it comes to a possible three-way tiebreaker. Uh, and then Kahoma at 2-8 and eight there, mathematically out of the chase of the playoffs. Well, I hate to say mathematically. I mean, they could still sneak in, but they would have to get a lot of help uh, as well. So East Mississippi right now, one game ahead of Northeast, but that's pretty much neck and neck right there at 8-2 at, at and two East Mississippi. And seven and two Northeast. Holmes at six and three. Looks like the top three spots are pretty much decided. Um, and then Northwest, ICC, and Delta all battling for that final spot of the playoffs. And then just quickly glancing down at the South Division, Pearl River just one win away, maybe two wins away from clinching the South Division. You've got Gulf Coast, Jones, both at nine and two. And then a little interesting chase uh, for that final spot in the South Division as well. Southwest and Hines currently tied at four and seven. And Colin and East Central, each three and nine. And then Meridian, not out of it as well, uh, at their two and nine uh, in the division. So that's uh, got a long way to go, much like the North Division, the South Division still has uh, some meat left on the bone when it comes to figuring out Who's going to make a push for the playoffs? Lee Adams had a chance to catch up with ICC softball coach Andy Kirk to talk about the number 10 Indian split with Bevel State yesterday over in Alabama. All right, Coach, a uh, little bit of a challenge today, having to get up early and get out here and play at 11 a.m., but you, uh, the girls showed out there in game one, get the 21 to nothing win, and then uh, Bevel State was able to earn the split with a 6-3 win. Just talk about how the day went for you and your team. Yeah, we talked about this uh, yesterday that it was uh, a good that we moved it up an hour, 11 o'clock start with a new format we're going to have this year with the playoffs. We're going to have an 18 double elimination tournament, and somebody's probably going to have to play a 10 or 11 a.m. start, you know, and probably going to have that two or three days in a row with the tournament now. So I told them it's good for us to get that practice, get out here and have to travel an hour and a half, play early, and see what we would come out, you know, kind of. Uh, you know, early on a Monday morning, see how we would show up, and we did. We showed out and put up a lot of runs and just had a lot of fun and got after them in game one. And then uh, game two was, a, you know, a whole different story. I thought number 20 for them, she controlled the, the circle and she controlled at bats. And we had some uh, miscues on offense, some base running mistakes we normally don't make. And it's a, it's a big learning curve for these freshmen right now. Okay, uh, if you can, talk a little bit about that learning curve, uh, you know, with it being another road game, second of the season. Uh, just talk about how that learning curve is of not necessarily affecting, but how they're responding to it. Yeah, it, it's uh, college softball is a lot different than anything most of them have ever done or have ever done as far as you know through junior high, high school, or even travel ball. As far as just the level of competition, and, and a good coach, uh, Coach Brown does a great job at Elba State. All teams we play on our schedule, there's no cupcakes, and if you make a mistake, they're going to take advantage of it. If you make base room mistakes, you know they're going to take advantage of it. If you're not in the right position. On defense, they take advantage of it, and then I thought their pitcher just did a tremendous job adjusting to the umpire strike zone. And our hitters, uh, we worked on it last night, but we just didn't have a very good game plan right there, and uh, ran ourselves out of some innings with just some miscommunication on some signs, and just uh, you know trying to do too much. I think some of them right now just got to settle into the college game, and you know, and it's gonna, like I told them, the best is yet to come. All right, coach. Well. Best of luck Wednesday, and hopefully the rain will hold off so we can just get a game in and pull it. Uh, sounds great. Thank you. A special thanks to Coach Porter and Coach Kurt for taking time to talk with us after their games yesterday. You can see highlights from the softball and basketball games on our YouTube channel. Uh, you can, uh, or you can go to the schedule pages for base, or excuse me, for softball, men's and women's basketball on Let's Go ICCTV.com. We'll have those links uh, up for you this afternoon. 
Now, when we come back, we'll jump in the Wayback Machine and visit the 2014 ICC Baseball Leadoff Banquet and listen to the speech from Brian Dozier uh, when, he came, uh, when he came back home uh, to visit with the Indians. And we'll be back with more right after this on Live with the Tribe here on ESPN 95.1 The Fan and Let's Go ICC TV. Dot com replay. At Itawamba Community College, your education is our priority. With a 20 to 1 student teacher ratio, you will get the help that you need from your instructors. With three locations in Fulton, Tupelo, and Belden, ICC offers classes that will prepare you to enter almost any job field of your choice. Apply online today at apply.iccms.edu and come be a part of our ICC family. Itawamba Community College, the best start here. This broadcast of ICC Athletics is being brought to you by Renaissance Bank, Little Caesars, Davis Ford, The Sonic of Fulton, Tupelo Coca-Cola Bottling Works, The Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, First American National Bank, the ICC BSU, your Itawama County Farm Bureau agent, Joey Cox, Kegel Eye Center, the ICC Foundation, the Bank of Oklahoma, and the ICC Alumni Association. With the Little Caesars mobile app, you can customize an extra most bestest pizza with the most cheese, and now with the most of any toppings for the nation's best price. It's the crowning pizza achievement. And it's true what they say, it's lonely at the top. Unless you have an extra most bestest pizza. Then it's a party at the top! Little Caesars extra most bestest pizzas. The world's easiest way to outrageous amounts of toppings starting at six bucks. Pizza, pizza. Ever since you got that license, you've been on the move. We get it. With student checking, we have the tools to keep you going. Take care of that check from grandma without stopping at the bank. Pay with your phone when you're out with friends. And we'll even pay you back for ATM fees. So keep on going, and we'll stick with you, wherever you go. Renaissance Bank, understanding you. Member FDIC. My name is Anna Catherine Feather, and I'm the school counselor at Morville High School. I was a student here at ICC in 2010 through 2012. I remember the student recruiters coming to my high school and they were telling all kinds of good things about ICC. But the main thing that attracted me was the location. While I was here at ICC, I was involved in the Student Government Association. I um, was in, participated in the BSU where I was the leader for the lead team. Well, I feel like when students ask me about ICC and my experience here, I go straight into recruiting again. And it's like I'm still a student recruiter um, or an Indian delegate. Um, but I tell them the same thing that I've always told them, that the classroom size is ideal. It's not too big. It's not too small. There's a lot of one-on-one -on -one with your professors that you wouldn't get at a university level. I tell them about the cost. And when you sit down and you talk numbers with students and it's very obvious that you want to save money and not go into debt, money comes a big deal. When I left ICC, I was fortunate to receive a Phi Theta Kappa scholarship, and so my school was paid for. Um, and comparable to the university, I saved a ton of money. Um, in fact, I came out of college debt-free, um, and so that paid my way, and I proceeded to Ole Miss and pursued my psychology degree. Welcome back to Live with the Tribe on ESPN 95.1 The Fan. If you're just now joining us, we are going to revisit the 2014 ICC leadoff banquet when Fulton native Brian Dozier was the special guest speaker. So let's go to that uh, that clip now. Wow, thank you. Um, thank you so much uh, for allowing me to come speak tonight. Uh, Coach Collier uh, asked me to do this. Uh, I, was, I was honored. I felt honored. Uh, Coach Collier does a magnificent job here. Um, uh, he's been here, well, 13 years now, and, and uh, year in and year out, I win a baseball program. He does an awesome job, so thank you, Coach, for asking me to, to speak here. It means a lot. 
Um, like I said earlier, I have my family here with me. Uh, I'm sure everyone knows my family very well by now. <laughs> it seems like, but uh, but uh, you know, it's been a busy off season for me. I spent about after the week. I mean, after the season ended, I spent about a month, a month and a half resting the body, that kind of thing. I went on a mission trip to Nicaragua uh, with my wife Renee. Uh, did some things down there. Uh, with uh, met up with a, a church group from. Atlanta, Georgia. I went down to uh, Nicaragua for about a week or so and uh, dug some ditches for a clean water system. Kind of a life-changing experience for me and her. And then, uh, like I mentioned earlier, uh, three weeks ago we got married. And I can tell you this, that me and Renee dated for about six years. We met at Southern Miss and dated for about six years before we got married three weeks ago. And I've learned more in three weeks than I have in six years. So, uh, but, uh, but no, it's, like you said earlier, I did hit a home run. She is my best friend, so I, uh, I'm blessed to have her in my life. Uh, but I just got back from Twins Fest. I've been in uh, Minnesota for the past week or two. Um, you guys, I know it's been very cold. It's negative 45 degrees in Minneapolis this past week. So it's, uh, to say the least, it was miserable. But um, we had a great time out there uh, going through all the upper Midwest, seeing uh, fans doing question and answers. That kind of thing, and uh, but, but it's been great. And we're ready, uh, ready for the season this year. We uh, we go down to Fort Myers, Florida, in about three weeks from now. So um, every, every, get ready to go and head down there to the to the good weather, I guess. But uh, you know, I was kind of thinking of a few things to uh, you know to say tonight. And I always wanted to play baseball. Um, I can remember back in uh, second grade. Ms. Cressa, my teacher, second grade teacher down here at the high school, we had to fill out this sheet that uh, basically, you know, what's your favorite music, your favorite hobby, your favorite food, that kind of thing. Got to the last question and it said, what do you want to do when you grow up? And you had two answers to choose, or you had two answers to write in. And my first answer was I want to play professional baseball for the Atlanta Braves. And my second is I wanted to ride on the back of a garbage truck and be a garbage man. <laughs> so I'm very happy one of those uh, turned out. But, but uh, I definitely had a dream at a young age, and uh, seven, eight years old, whatever that was. And um, it, it's been a long haul, but the dream did come true. Uh, growing up, I, like I said, I played down there at Etiwamba High School um, four years there. And then I went and signed with uh, Southern Miss. I was kind of a guy, grew up a Mississippi State fan. Wanted to play in the SEC and basically told, uh, was told I wasn't good enough, uh, roundabout way. And so I went to Southern Miss, a blessing in disguise for me. It really was uh, a lot of best friends still down there. Uh, that's actually where me and Re Renee reside. We, uh, we bought a home this off season in Hattiesburg, make that our home for now. Um, but as I tell everybody, no matter what, um, Fulton is always my home. And uh, that's, that's one thing that I'll uh, always say. But uh, I spent four years there. At Southern Miss, a dream come true for me. I had the opportunity to play uh, in Omaha my senior year. I got drafted by the Twins. Spent about two, two and a half years in the minor leagues. And a lot of people, you know, kind of, you know, what is the minor leagues? You don't really know how the minor leagues work. But I'm going to tell you that if you've ever seen the movie, <clears throat> if you've ever seen the movie Bull Durham, uh, that's pretty much what it is. The long bus rides, that kind of thing. And I think the only difference is I didn't have a, a hot host mom to take care of me the whole time. I kept it what? But you know what? It, it, it was an experience. Sometimes you question yourself. Sometimes you, you know, if you're really on high on the totem pole, that kind of thing. And uh, but it was a long, it was a long haul for me. And then once I got to AAA, I kind of uh, started sensing that I was going to get called up, that kind of thing. And on May fifth. Uh, a couple of years ago, 2012, uh, I got called up, and I love to share the story of how I got called up. I tell this to uh, everybody a lot because it means so. It means so much to me. But uh, it was Cinco de Mayo, May 5th, and we had just got done uh, winning the game, and we were about to uh, head on a 14-hour bus trip in the middle of the night. Same thing like Bull Durham. You don't you don't catch a jet to go play. You, you ride through the middle of the night on this this raggedy old bus. And, and uh, you get there the next day to play. So about ready to leave, and uh, the manager comes in. I'm in the back fixing a taco and stuff. The manager comes in and says, hey, you know, make sure you're packed up. We've got a 14-hour bus ride. Um, get everything going. We'll try to leave in about an hour. And so sure enough, um, he's about to walk out of the room, 
And he says, Dozier, make sure you're packed up. And I said, get out of here, Gino. I said, I'm always packed up. What are you talking about? And he said, no, pack a little different this time. You're headed to Minnesota. So in that moment, it was kind of very, very um, awesome for me. It was a dream come true. It was, uh, I guess, the best words I've ever, ever heard in my life, to be honest with you. Um, it was that moment to reflect back on everything. It was uh, of all the family support that I've had, my friend support, everybody along the way that's contributed um, uh, to get to where I am today. Uh, as I said, friend support, it's funny, I was telling somebody earlier that um, uh, I, I got most improved player this past year for the Twins, and the friend support I have, uh, one of my friends, and coach one of your outfielders that used to play here, Clay Weatherford, he, he calls me and says, hey, I heard you got most improved player. And I was uh, pumped about it. Yeah, you know, I figured he's happy for me and stuff. And he said, you, you happy? And I was like, yeah, it's pretty cool, cool award or whatever. He said, are you really? Yeah. I said, yeah, I don't mind what. He said, I, I think that's just a nice way of telling me you sucked the year before. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the family and friends support, but also the ones that kind of bring it down a little bit. But, Hey, sorry about cutting in real quick. You're listening to Brian Dozier speak at the 2014 ICC Baseball Leadoff Banquet here on Live with the Tribe. We're going to break away for a quick timeout and come back with the second half of BD's speech right after this on ESPN 95.1 The Fan. Davis Ford in Fulton is your Ford dealer for new cars, trucks, and SUVs and has a wide inventory of certified pre-owned vehicles. Find your next dream car or truck from our Ford showroom or go online to davisfordsales.com and search our new and used inventory to see what is on our lot. So stop by and test drive the all-new fuel-efficient Ford Focus or Ford Fusion or the new Ford Explorer or F-150. Go further with Davis Ford, 904 West Main Street in Fulton or online davisfordsales.com. The newly formed Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi wants to make sure you are receiving the best orthopedic care possible. Our staff of seven experienced board certified surgeons specialize in a specific area of the body and can treat you with the newest and latest technology available to fast track your road to recovery. Call us for same day appointments at 662-377-BONE and come see us at Gloucester Creek Village in Tupelo at the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. Our specialty is you. This broadcast of ICC Athletics is being brought to you by Renaissance Bank, Little Caesars, Davis Ford, The Sonic of Fulton, Tupelo Coca-Cola Bottling Works, The Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, First American National Bank, The ICC BSU, Your Itawama County Farm Bureau Agent, Joey Cox, Cagle Eye Center, The ICC Foundation, The Bank of Oklahoma, and The ICC Alumni Association. Student involvement is a top priority here at Itawamba Community College. If you want to be involved with student government, then the Student Government Association is the place for you. If you have a stellar GPA, then Phi Theta Kappa is for you. If you're interested in the diverse culture of our campus population, then the Diversity Club is for you. If you're interested in leadership and service, then Indian Delegation is for you. If you're majoring in computer programming or computer networking, then CPNA, the Computer Programming Networking Association, is for you. If you're interested in good conversations and free lunch on Thursdays, then the Wesley Foundation is for you. Our health science programs also have specific organizations for those majors. Student activities are excited to bring you new opportunities here at the ICC Tupelo campus. Whatever your passion may be, we have a place for you. This video is brought to you by Phi Theta Kappa Beta Tau Sigma Tupelo campus. What's up everybody? Madison here filling in for Gore with your ICC sports update for ESPN 95.1 The Fan. The 10th ranked ICC softball team split a doubleheader at Bevel State on Monday. The Indians picked up an impressive 21-0 win in Game 1, but dropped a 6-3 decision to the Bears in the final game of the day. Jessica Davis hit her first ever collegiate home run with a three-run bomb in the Game 1 victory. Last night, the Lady Indians improved to 17-2 overall and 9-0 in the North with a 78-66 win over Mississippi Delta, while the Indians dropped a 64-59 decision to the Trojans in the nightcap. Shania Buford led the Lady Indians with 23 points, while Medarius Hobson led the Indians with 15. Y'all have a blessed day, and as always, roll tribe.
And welcome back to Live with the Tribe here on ESPN 95.1 The Fan. Uh, if you're just now joining us, we're going to listen to the second half of Brian Dozier's speech from the 2014 ICC leadoff banquet right here on Live with the Tribe. But at the same time, you know, I've you know, done these speaking engagements and all that kind of stuff. And I think some of the uh, one big question that always comes about that people ask is, um, is what's your favorite part about being in the major leagues and, and doing what I do? And I'm so blessed to, to do what I do for a living. But what's your favorite part about everything? And, you know, and there's so many things that I love so much about it. But, you know, I, I always think, and, you know, what's my favorite? And I think for me, it's the fact that I get the opportunity to, to play with so many people, to um, become friends with, share, share the same field as guys that I grew up wanting to be like, the Derek Jeters, the Chipper Jones, getting to meet those guys, and become friends and colleagues and stuff, to share the same field, uh, to Paul Molitor, to Rod Carew, those guys, to get to work with some of those guys, some of the best players to ever play the game of baseball. That's what's special to me. Uh, that's what means so much to me. And I think that's the, that's the biggest thing for because I wanted to idolize the guys. I wanted to be there in the yard playing catch with my brother uh, back when I was six or seven years old. And I get the opportunity to share the same field with them, become friends with them. And, uh, you know, that means a lot. One of my favorite persons I ever met, and uh, I can now call him my friend today, is Jim Tomey. A lot of guys. I know who Jim Tomey is, a Hall of Famer, one of the best hitters to ever play. And I forget, the, the, the best thing he's ever taught me, and so many things, is I had the opportunity to play uh, before I got called up. Uh, my first year of spring training, they invited me, the Twins invited me to Atlanta to play the Braves for two exhibition games. So I get to Atlanta, never step on a major league field, a uniform, nothing at all. And... I said, you know what, I'm going to be the, the first one to the field. I'm going to be the first one. I'm the rookie. I'm the guy no one really even knows about. I'm going to be the first one to the field. So sure enough, I take a taxi at about 1230 to go to Turner Field. <laughs> get, get, get to the field, and sure enough, walk in there. Nobody's in the clubhouse. Nobody wants there. I'm the only one in there. So I'm feeling all good about myself. Everything's good. I'm make a good impression for the general manager, that kind of thing. So sure enough, I go in there, fix me a sandwich, sit in front of the TV, kick back and relax, wait for everybody to get in and everything. Sure enough, nobody shows up an hour later. I'm like, wow, I'm making, I'm making a really good impression. So I was like, I'm going to go out to see the field, take a couple pictures, that kind of thing. I go down the tunnel, up the steps, get to the top of the dugout, the top of the steps of the dugout, and the whole entire Twins team is out there practicing, doing early work. <laughs> so I run back inside, grab my glove, go, I go over to the side, come out on the field acting like I've been there forever. And uh, Jim told me it was the only one that saw me. So he pulls me aside and, you know, this is a guy that's played 20 plus years in the big leagues. And uh, he said, you know, never let me beat you to the field. And always remember that as long as you play, never let me beat you to the field. Always be the first one. No matter if you think you're the first one or not, make, make sure you're the first one to the field. And that's one of the biggest things in my profession that a lot of people think you play games at seven o'clock and you just show up at 4 o'clock. These guys get there at 11 o'clock, you, um, you know, spend, spend all day. I know it makes my wife mad a lot. I've learned that. But it's, uh, you spend all day at the field. And the amount of work you put in before you actually play, and that's one of the biggest things that he taught me that, I, that I'll take on me forever. Um, another question that, that a lot of people always ask is, is uh, what's, the big, what's the biggest thing you've learned since you've been uh, doing what you've been doing? I've been in the big leagues and stuff like that. I can tell you this, that you always hear the, the saying, and this is very true, that it's, it's so hard to get to the major leagues, but it's even harder to stay. And that is true and be, or even beyond that, because my rookie year, I have a teammate of mine, Joe Maurer, and he was leading the whole entire league in hitting, hitting 350, 360, just dominating pitchers. Went back to back, 0 for 5 games with a few strikeouts, and I get to the field at 11, 11.30. He's already there. He's been at the field since 10 o'clock that morning. He's hitting in the tunnel. And I go down there and I say, Joe, what are you doing? If I had half your average, you know, just give me half of it. You know, I'm struggling over here. He says, you know what? He says, I'm having trouble hitting the inside pitch. And I say, Joe, you're, you know, you're the best hitter in the league right now. What do you mean? He says, i got to get better at this. 
just to see those guys do what they do day in and day out, the amount of hard work they put in has taught me so much, and it really is true. It's very hard to get there, but it is even harder to stay. And uh, that's probably one of the biggest things I've learned that's been so special uh, to me. But, um, but just real quick, I kind of wanted to uh, kind of close and say, um, I know kind of the, all the guys are so spread out, and, uh, but kind of just gear this last part to you guys, the players. I want to encourage you guys to dream big uh, because I know along the way there's going to be so many people, even to the day before, while you were getting recruited to come here, um, there's going to be so many people that tell you you can't do something, that you can't, uh, you can't play at Alabama, you can't go on and play at a senior college, or you can't do whatever profession. I know uh, some of you have a goal of being a professional baseball whatever player, uh, a doctor, whatever it is. And I want to encourage you guys to dream big no matter what. There's going to be so many people along the way. I had to, when I was getting recruited uh, out of high school, I had people tell me that uh, I, I, I couldn't play in the SEC. I wasn't fast enough. I couldn't hit for enough power. Once I got to Southern Miss, people, I can't be a big leaguer. I don't have the bat to play. I have the glove, but don't have the bat. Um, and even last week in Minnesota, I had a press conference with people asking me, there's, telling me there's no chance that I put up the same numbers that I did last year. There's going to be people telling you all along the way, no matter what it is in life, that I challenge you to dream big, set goals, to reach those goals, and I promise you, at the end of the day, it's going to be up to you if, if those dreams do come true. So I want to encourage you to do that. Uh, if you guys ever need anything from me, um, like I said, Fulton is my home. I'm always here, mainly during the hunting season. But, uh, but I'm always here. Um, and Coach Collier, I thank you again. I can't thank you enough for all you've done for not only for Ed Obama baseball, but uh, for the community, the town of Fulton. And uh, he deserves everything he gets. So, but guys, uh, best of luck this year. And uh, I'll definitely be rooting you on for Minneapolis. So thank you guys for having me. I appreciate it. Before Coach Ball comes for the closing remarks in just a moment, uh, generally when we have a major leader, we do throw the floor open for a few questions. I hope you don't mind answering questions, do you? All right, so anybody with a question, I'll start with the first question. What's your favorite park clean? Yeah, please. What's your favorite park clean? The shortest one, I guess. <laughs> you know what, it, it, and that's another thing. Like I said, a lot of, uh, you know, um, that I love to do what I do. That you get to see all the parks that you, I, I remember had, a, my mom bought me a book with all the major league parks and <clears throat> I used to have a couple on my wall and, and uh, framed and everything and you get to see those parks now and play them day in and day out. Uh, Milwaukee, Miller Park is probably my favorite to play at. Uh, it was really special when, this past year when I played in Atlanta uh, because I grew up uh, going to games over there, went to the 95 World Series, all that kind of thing. And, um, I felt like I had the whole town of Fulton there, and they had to pay for a lot of tickets. But uh, but, uh, but no, it really was uh, uh, you know special. We played all these parks, but Miller Park's probably the uh, the best park for myself. Gotcha. They caught me off guard with this question and answer, so fire away. <laughs> you got one in the middle here. Who's your favorite pitcher? My favorite pitcher to face. To face. Well, I'm gonna tell you. I don't like facing most of them. They're pretty good. Some, some of the best in the world, or the best in the world. Um, you know what? It's, I was telling Coach Carr this earlier that people have different. Uh, they have different guys that they like and don't like. Some of the best. I, uh, I don't mind facing like uh, Justin Verlander, those type guys. Some, but I, I hate facing the Bruce Chins, the uh, Max Scherzer, some of the guys that are. Well, Max Scherzer is obviously one of the best now, but. Some of the lower end guys, I mean, it, it really does fluctuate. So um, I guess the slower they throw, the, the, the more I like that. So. <laughs> Others? I know Mr. Ty Crane's got to have a question back here. I went there about this morning at 4 o'clock, but uh, he seems a little <laughs> drowned here. <right> now. <laughs> but, uh, but no, it's a, but thanks again, guys. It really does mean a lot for everybody. Uh, to come here tonight, support uh, Edamama baseball, and 
you know, all the players and the families and everything. So thank you for coming. And oh, uh, God bless each and every one of you. So thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. This broadcast of ICC Athletics is being brought to you by Renaissance Bank, Little Caesars, Davis Ford, The Sonic of Fulton, Tupelo Coca-Cola Bottling Works, The Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, First American National Bank, The ICC BSU, Your Itawama County Farm Bureau Agent, Joey Cox, Kegel Eye Center, The ICC Foundation, The Bank of Oklahoma, and The ICC Alumni Association. With the Little Caesars mobile app, you can customize an extra most bestest pizza with the most cheese and now with the most of any toppings for the nation's best price. It's the crowning pizza achievement. And it's true what they say. It's lonely at the top. Unless you have an extra most bestest pizza. Then it's a party at the top! Little Caesars Extra Most Bestest Pizzas. The world's easiest way to outrageous amounts of toppings starting at six bucks. Pizza, pizza. Ever since you got that license, you've been on the move. We get it. With student checking, we have the tools to keep you going. Take care of that check from grandma without stopping at the bank. Pay with your phone when you're out with friends. And we'll even pay you back for ATM fees. So keep on going, and we'll stick with you, wherever you go. Renaissance Bank, understanding you. Member FDIC. $2.99 for a car hop classic. What a steal. Steal. That's a heist. Put this on. Oh, disguise. I don't think I can eat in there. It's all part of the plan, my friend. Get a quarter pound double cheeseburger or a Slinger Plus Tots for $2.99. Try it today. Sonic's $2.99 Car Hop Classic. A juicy quarter pound double cheeseburger or a flavorful signature Slinger with golden brown crispy tots. A deal so nice, you should order it twice. Because it's only $2.99. Hurry in for Sonic's Car Hop Classic. When I was looking for a college back in the day, you know, I, I'm from Amory, Mississippi, just 30 minutes down the road, and I'm a homebody, and, and I had to commute, and I said, I need to go to a college that's not too far from home. And I heard of ICC. And once I stepped on campus, I knew this is the junior college I need to be at. I didn't think of another college. I said, this is it. When I stepped on campus, the atmosphere, it just was drawn to me, and I felt like this is where I belong. I belong here at Itawamba Community College because at that moment, I knew this is the best junior college on the planet. This is where I need to be. This is where I was planted. And that's why I am what I am today because of Itawamba Community College. How you doing, Tari? Good to have you guys back on campus here uh, for opening day. Just talk about what brought you back to ICC today other than the game. Uh, you always, uh, ICC has always been good to me, so I always come back as many times as I can. I see Rick, a uh, great guy, uh, some of the old teammates still still around, so yeah, I come back and see them. Pretty much the same for me. Um, Got to come back and see Coach Carr and have fun with him, talk with him, you know, pick his brain. It helps me still to this day. Okay, well, uh, just talk a little about what ICC, being a member of the ICC baseball team, meant to both of you guys as you all both went on to be professional baseball players now. Uh, I just feel like it's a, it's a family thing now. I come back and everybody's uh, greeting us. So, I mean, pretty much big family here, right? ICC pretty much was like the best thing that happened to me for baseball. Um, met great people, played great baseball. Um, just a great atmosphere. Okay, well, both of you getting ready to head out to spring training. Just talk a little bit about that and uh, what you've done this offseason to prepare to get ready for spring training. Uh, this offseason has probably been my best one. I put on seven, eight pounds. I've been good. Uh, last year I had a really, really good season, so this year I should get the promotion, so everything should be good. Um, this offseason I was pretty much hurt the whole time, so I was going back and forth to Arizona rehabbing, but uh, I lost a few pounds, and that's what they wanted anyway, so... 
I'll be I'll be ready to go by spring training and hopefully move up as well. All right, guys. Well, thanks for coming back to campus today, and look forward to seeing you here again and seeing you on TV. No problem. No try. <laughs> All right, Hunter, good to have you back here on campus today uh, on opening day at that. Uh, yeah. Just talk a little bit about what you brought brought you back to ICC today to watch the Indians. Uh, I love this place. absolutely love this place. Uh, it's where it's basically it's just one of the stepping stones in, the, in my life through baseball and everything like that. And I don't know, I don't get many off days to come. Well, I say off day. I had an inner squad today. But just being able to come back here and see some of the guys that I played with last year doing so well and, you know, two victories, that's big time. Well, you said that you love this place. Just talk a little bit about what, what ICC meant to you during your two years here before you went to Ole Miss. Everything. ICC meant everything to me. I come in as a freshman, not really understanding how fast baseball can get, and then have to basically decide on whether what I wanted decide on what I wanted to do. Uh, I could lay down, you know. I, I was the second string a catcher my freshman year, and then coming in here my sophomore year, I had to make a decision on if I wanted to just you know sit around and not do anything, or you know try to get back on the horse and make it somewhere bigger and. <laughs> Hopefully, I mean, thankfully I'm a little bit bigger now. All right, well, uh, talk about Ole Miss so far. I know you're about to gear, uh, gear up to get things going over there in Oxford. Just talk about you and uh, what you've done to get ready for this upcoming season for the Rebels. Uh, it's, a, it's a definite culture shock because everybody loves Ole Miss baseball around here and state baseball, I guess. But just uh, one thing that I've noticed is just like how big and how, you know, small small town this is compared to Oxford I guess and I've met a lot of good friends now over there in Oxford that I never thought I would so I'm uh, I'm excited for the season just working hard and supporting my teammates through it all all right neighbors well you know we're always rooting for you so good sure. luck this season roll try the pitch now today's pitch be thrown out by Mississippi team USA Joining Kaylee Brook is ICC President Dr. Jay Allen. Kaylee Brook is a freshman majoring in nursing here at ICC. Her plans are to continue her education at Mississippi University for Women and the University of Mississippi Medical Center. Her humanitarian endeavors consist of raising awareness towards increasing the food insecurity rate in Mississippi. Kaylee Brook's efforts were acknowledged by the national organization No Kid Hungry after raising more than five tons of food for the hungry. After a loss of a very dear friend, Kayla Brook has made it her mission to be part of the solution to teen suicide. She travels to schools across the state to talk to students about how to overcome self-doubt and deal with stress while encouraging them to have an open discussion with their peers, teachers, and parents regarding the feelings. It is important to Kayla Brook that teens feel safe, accepted, and understood. Itawamba Community College is excited to see what the, this, what the years as Mississippi Teen USA holds for Kaylee Brook. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Kaylee Brook McCollum, Mississippi Woo! Teen USA. That's going to do it for today's Live with the Tribe. We greatly appreciate you for taking time out of your day to join us here on ESPN 95.1 The Fan. In case you miss any of today's show, we'll have it archived on our YouTube channel right around 3 o'clock this afternoon. Just search Let's Go ICC on YouTube. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to the channel while you're there. Also, tonight we'll have the ICC Most Beautiful pageant coming your way at 7 o'clock on Let's Go ICC TV. So a little break away from the uh, athletic side of things. And that'll be going on at the W.O. Benjamin Fine Arts, Arts Auditorium. Uh, there were very few tickets left earlier or late last week. May not have any left this week, but if you are looking for something to do, uh, tickets are $7. You can order them at iccms.edu slash tickets. That's iccms.edu slash tickets. That is if there's any still available. Uh, they may be sold out, and if they are, you can watch that tonight on letsgoicctv.com starting a little bit before 7 o'clock. This has been Adam Gore. I hope you have a blessed day, and as always, roll tribe.